Okay guys, so here we have the first boot of the MacBook Pro's 13 inch with the i5 2.5 GHz processor, the 500 gigs um, mechanical hard drive with 5400 RPMs and 4 gigs of RAM. Basically it should take around 34-35 seconds to boot, to boot up and let's see how it boots and here it is it's done ready now we can test the opening of a lot of application from the finder and you have to go to finder application select all the application you want and then click on open and you can open all the application together and we can see how much time does it need. Open. So now it's opening all the apps. And this is just a great feature of the Mac OS X 10. And basically with the same hardware on a Windows environment, you're not going to be able to open all this application together because it's just will lock your computer and even with this low hardware the the Mac manages to open all the application it takes a while but it's it's fine actually then after this session we we will see how to uh, shut down the computer and then all this uh, test with the SSD so here we have the shutting down of the laptop it doesn't take much time and then in the first segment we will see actually after the upgrade of the 16 gigs of RAM and the Corsair Neutron GTX SSD how it improves the performance And here we have the boot time after the SSD installation and the 16 gigs of RAM. And it's ready. So then we have we can have some test more like launching a lot of apps as I did before. So applications and let's select the App Store, AutoCAD, Rock Magic, C Cleaner, Contact, Ebook Reader. We can avoid the the games so we can have a complete look My movie image capture Google Chrome GIMP iTunes launchpad maybe not the launchpad as for the games they are gonna cover all the screen will not be able to, to see the other application starting QuickTime pocket so everything you can open, just let's try it. We'll see you torrent and box. And then let's press open. So right now I have just more application than the, the first time with the standard configuration of the laptop, but basically it's really fast and great all right was done and of course don't check so we can close anything now
let's see. Four squids. Okay. It's all closed. Now maybe we can have a test with cheek bench and benchmark. Let's see how it works with the benchmark. The last time I did this test it revealed a result as the 13 inch MacBook Pro's Retina display with the i7 dual core processor. So and this is just a, an i5 dual core processor with the 16 gigs of RAM and the 240 Neutron GTX by Corsair SSD. All the rest is original, totally stock. The system is a Mountain Lion 10.8 and it's about to finish. We can see the final score with Geekbench 2. This is the score, 75 and 59. So basically, this is it. Let's turn off and see how much time does it need to shut down. Shut down. Done. So guys, this is the MacBook Pro's 13-inch no retina display with just an SSD and the RAM upgraded to 16 gigs with the Corsair Vengeance. So basically I'm really happy with my MacBook Pros, it's really portable, really a great display, even if it's not the Retina one. Actually it's not comparable, but it's, it's kind of fine. And see you next time, thanks for watching, maybe thumbs up and subscribe if you want more of these videos, and see you next time, bye guys.